Hey guys, it's Jen again. I hope you guys are excited for our next video. This one right here that you're watching. Anyway, it's more of a everyday makeup look with a little bit of sass because of eyelashes. If you guys want to see how I did this look today, please continue watching. Hey guys, so today I've already done my face makeup and eyebrows and highlight and contour. So we're gonna just focus on a natural eye. So what we're going to go ahead and do is use my In The Buff Lightly Toasted. It is from Marshalls. I got it for $6.99. Um, it's got, here's what it looks like inside. It's beaten up because it's loved. I've used this for a long time. I really like it. Uh, it's more affordable than the Naked palettes. So if you can't um, get your hands on a Naked palette, I would really suggest going to Ross or Marshalls or even TJ Maxx or uh, Gordman's. They have a lot of makeup um, just like this and you can get it for a really good price and expensive. It's really great. So enough with me talking. We're going to go ahead and start with the eye look. I'm going to just clean off my... I'm going to go ahead and clean off my eyeshadow brush. And what I'm just doing is I'm taking... This is actually my sister's idea. Um, I'm just taking like a hair scrunchie. One of those... Um, I think it's synthetic. It's actually called a hair donut. Um, and what you do is you just go like this and clean it off. And as you can see, it's clean. Like it doesn't leave anything on my hand. But you can still see some coloring. You'll just have to wash it. But in between makeup applications, it's really nice and handy. Um, so what we're going to do is put this neutral shade right here. It's actually called cracker and what we're going to do is just put that all over the lids and I'm going to just go ahead and do one eye at a time and then do the other one off camera just to save some time so I'm just gonna go over this one more time just to make sure everything is blended using the same neutral shade right here I'm going to go ahead and use a darker shade as a transition shade this one right here this one is actually called Lady Luck, right here in my crease, and just keep blending, using circular motions and back and forth. I'm going to go ahead and use my Morphe 12, let me see, 12 NB palette. This is what it looks like inside. There isn't a mirror, but I do like all the shadows inside. I think this is a really good um, palette to use on the on the go because it has mattes, transition shades, and sh uh, shimmer shades. So I think that's really helpful in creating a, a neutral eye. It has a little bit of a shimmer, but not too much. So I'm okay with that. Work that in the crease. So we're already here. I'm going to take the leftover and just put the... I like to close my eye because sometimes, since the brush is so fluffy, it tickles my eye. So you can see that is right underneath the eye. This one right here. So what I want to do is concentrate that only in the corner of my eye. Just kind of buff it out and make sure it builds right there. Or I'm not going to pick up my brush, I'm just going to move it back and forth. We're going to go ahead and focus on our lid. I'm going to move on to a different brush, more of a packer brush, and I'm going to pick up this gold shade. It's called Twister. Okay, now that that is all over our lid, I'm going to go ahead and highlight my brow bone. Use this shade right there. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off camera and I will come back also with eyeliner and lashes. Hey guys, I just got finished with my other eye. Please like and subscribe, leave a comment down below, and let me know what you liked. Let me know about any ideas you want me to try out. Thanks guys.